සිංහල ක්‍රීඩා සමාජයේ වසර 120 පස්වන සම්වත්සර සැමරුම් උත්සවය ජනාධිපති රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහගේ ප්‍රධානත්වයෙන් පැවැත්ුණා. සිංහල ක්‍රීඩා සමාජයේ වසර 125ක ඉතිහාසයේ සටහන් කෙරුණු සුවිශේෂී ග්‍රන්ථයක් එළි දැක්වීමද මෙහිදී සිදු කෙරුණු අතර එයට සමගාමීව තැපැල් මුද්දරයක් සහ මුල් දින කවරයක්ද නිකුත් කරනු ලැබුවා. ජාත්‍යන්තර ක්‍රිකට් පිටියේ එදා මෙදා තුර ශ්‍රී ලංකා පිළිට නායකත්වයේ දුන් SSC ක්‍රීඩකයන් නැගීමට ලක් කිරීමද ජනාධිපති රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහ අතින් සිදු වූ අතර ජනාධිපතිවරයා ඔවුන් සමග සමූහ ඡායාරූපයකටද එක් වුණා. එහිදී අදහස් දක්වමින් ශ්‍රී ලංකාව යලිත් ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩාවෙන් ලොව ප්‍රමුඛයෙකු බවට පත්තුනු දැකීම තම අපේක්ෂාව බවත් ඒ වෙනුවෙන් රජයෙන් ලබා දිය හැකි සියලු දායකත්ව ලබා දෙන බවත් ජනාධිපති රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහ පවසා සිටියා. එසේම දේශපාලනය සහ ක්‍රීඩාව වෙන් කර තබා ගැනීමේ වැදගත්කම පෙන්වා දුන් ජනාධිපතිවරයා දේශපාලඥයන්ට ක්‍රීඩා සමාජවල ඉහළ තනතුරු ලබා දීමෙන් වැලකී සිටිය හැකි නම් ඒ යහපත් තත්වයක් වනු ඇතැයි තම විශ්වාස කරන බවද සඳහන් කළා. SSC is not a sports club. It's a national institution. It's a part of the history of our country. Why was the club formed for the Sinhalese? It are not to any way to indulge in ethnic warfare or rivalry. you have to remember it was just about 60 70 years after different parts of the country came together some from the candian kingdom others from the south others from the north society which was a feudal societies which were governed mainly by caste not even by class and maybe religion so this was the first modern attempt to give an identity to the singular speaking people as one group irrespective of caste and irrespective of religion that is why everyone met here after those schools which are uh, engaged in cricket like royal st thomas's wesley amongst others they all got here and they got together to give this sense of identity and that's why many people of that time joined the club including my great grandfather the meeden yadiga and my grandfather cl vikramasinghe and many of them because they wanted to establish a sri lankan identity and in time and as independence came my father so this is how we established the tamils also formed the tamils union not in the sense of ethnic rivalry but it was the different groups trying to give themselves identities not on the grounds of religion not on the grounds of caste but on the language and culture even the malays they had their own sports club you couldn't have political parties so this was the way that they had it the singhalese came in the tamils came in the malays came in and later on they all joined together to give us a common identity the silanese identity which was of course brought forward by the president of the ssc the late ds senanai so this is the role that you have played in the politics of this country and this is why we have to recognize you as a national institution the other is because you were the ministry of sports before the ministry of sports and that contribution has to be remembered even now so in this association i think for about 66 years you had the leaders of my party as your president and that is a great honor to us they have done so i myself is one member who has joined a club i was in the ssc at one time as a student when your swimming pools were open but as a politician i thought i should keep out of it and politics of today is not the politics of dsn nayak or jr jawadana so more you keep politicians out as have holding high office in the club the better it will be for all of us so let's separate the politics and let's separate sports i think that is something that is needed today
but it doesn't mean that we have forgotten you. As a fact, I always keep an eye on what the SSC wants here. After all, we have to carry on the traditions of our leaders. So I told the Minister of Sports now, submit a cabinet paper to give a 99-year lease to the SSC. <laughs> but if you don't maintain the world standards, we might have a clause to take it back. It's not only in politics, it's not only in the history of this country that you have made your contribution, but also in sports. The number of people, not only in cricket, but in tennis, in swimming, in so many fields. That's your contribution. So it's by no means a coincidence that Mr. late D.S. Sennaker gave you the 20 acres of land there. That was a part of the old race course air squadron, air force base. Inside one of those hangars, we got independence. That's where you have the independence hall, a national institution. So he thought it well when you establish you next to it. Remember the importance of where you are. And so many of you, your contributions. My friend Arjuna, who led the team to victory. Here in this ground was that famous 624-run stand by Mahayla and Sangakkal. Many other records in the fields. So you have done well and thank you. And before I conclude, I thought I would also say a few words about cricket in the country. I want Sri Lanka to become a champion in cricket. I want you all to come to that. The contribution the government will make is we are setting aside a billion rupees this year and even more next year to have a trust with one of your members of the SSC heading is Siddharth to pump into the rural schools to play cricket and to play good cricket and to have their own big matches. There's a gentleman who wants to ban big matches. I want to tell him that the age of the politics of Keithi Vijay Bahu is over and we will continue to play the cricket matches. Why is it that I want? I want at least 1,000 to 1,500 schools with cricket teams. 1,000 to 1,500. Why do I want 1,000 to 1,500? Because then you all will have a big pool from which you can select your cricketers. Not a few hundreds. Move them play cricket. We will create the base. It's up for the board of control and clubs to develop it. So we like to work together with you. And the government will start a scheme, we'll work together to ensure that we can bring cricket and make Sri Lanka leading light in cricket. That's what we want it to be. And we are prepared to help in it. And I know we'll have the support of the SSC in achieving our targets. So I don't want to take any more of your time, but to thank the club for all the services you have rendered the nation and what you will render in the coming hundred years. Thank you.